Welcome to the In Thinking History site. My name is Jo Thomas and I'm one of the site authors. The aim of this video is to help you navigate your way around the site and help you see the best way to use it, both for yourself and for your students. So, what do we cover on this site? Well, everything you need for the IB History programme. If you go across the top, you'll see the key components of the History IB course, Paper 1, Paper 2, Paper 3, the Internal Assessment, uh, and of course, uh, the requirements for the IB Core. So, if we go back to have a look at what we cover in each one of these papers, at the top level for each paper, we look at the skills that are needed and the types of questions that students are going to get. So obviously for paper one, that's looking at source questions and providing a range of activities that will help them to develop their source skills. For paper two, we look at essay writing skills and uh, how the paper is assessed and uh, give guidance on uh, how to interpret the different mark bands. This is also the case, of course, for paper three. For all of these different skill areas, for paper one, two and three, we've actually given a PowerPoint that you can use to guide students through the different skills that they need. As you can see here, we've got some help for students on understanding IB command terms, as well as general help in terms of structuring essay, useful vocabulary, uh, general strategies. So what about the content? The IB course presents challenges, but it's also quite exciting in the sense that there is a huge range of topics to choose from, particularly for papers two and three. For paper one, we've actually covered all of the prescribed topics. For papers two, we have done the most popular 20th century topics, topics 10, 11 and 12, although we have actually covered the medieval topics on wars and rulers as well. For paper three, again, for each of the regions, we've chosen the most popular topics to focus on and the topics which overlap with other areas of paper two and paper one. Now, how have we covered the content? So let's have a look at a topic here. Let's go to topic 16 on the European region for paper three. You can see down the side here that what we've done is that we've taken the IB syllabus and for each bullet point, we've set up a different page. So let's take Khrushchev and uh, Brezhnev. So under the Khrushchev and Brezhnev page, we've got guiding questions to highlight the key issues for this, for this particular area. Under each question, we've got content. We've also got activities. So this one here is a research activity. We've got uh, a looking at a source question here. We've got a bit of video, which students have a specific task to do connected with that. We've got some thinking activities, discussion points, here we've got uh, a mind map for students to complete and so on. So a range of different activities under these questions. Here we are linking to historians. So how might you use this page as a teacher? Well, you have the option to let your students work through it on their own, if that's what you want. Uh, one of the great things about this site is that students can have access to all the ATL pages and they can work their way through or under your guidance work their way through specific questions and specific tasks. Another way to use this page might be to actually use it in class on the whiteboard. Uh, you might decide to use the presentation mode and to go through different activities or questions in class or you might want the students to use it to catch up on work that you've done in class uh, as well. That's another alternative. Under each topic, so under topic 16 here, we've got our content areas, which link to the IB syllabus. We've also got uh, a key page for each topic, which is essay skills, essay frames and writing exercises. So what you might find here are Exercises on writing introductions is here. Here they've got to comment on that. You might find uh, essay planning skills, activities where students have to look at particular essays and comment on positives and negatives, a whole range of activities. You'll also find, where possible, grading student essays, 
Uh, and we also have uh, a separate video page with questions and activities. This is in addition, of course, to the videos that are on the actual ATL page. And each topic also has an extra resource page to give you and students ideas of key historians, useful websites and fiction and movies on that particular topic. We've also got the IA and a whole range of help here for you if you're setting up an IA in terms of explaining the criteria, helping students get the question right and also providing student examples that you can give to students to see how they can achieve the highest marks. The IB Core, we've got some examples of how you can use CAS and history. For the extended essay, again, plenty of help in terms of understanding the criteria, helping students to choose topics and questions, apply the reflection criteria, and also, of course, more graded student examples. These examples all got A grades, so very useful for students to be able to see how they also can achieve the highest marks. Finally, theory of knowledge, some ideas here on how you can link history to theory of knowledge and an interesting section here. We try to pick up on stories in the news that have a history angle to them that are also linked to theory of knowledge issues. We are adding to the site all the time with new resources, new ideas and new topics. One way in which we let you know about this is through the monthly blog. So if we have a look at the July blog here, at the bottom, update on what we've completed in July. We also use the blog to pick up on anniversaries that are happening in the news or any other interesting resources or books that have appeared in that particular month. If you have any suggestions for content that you'd like to see on the site, please get in touch. We'd love to hear from you.